things I wish I knew before my spiritual journey began and maybe sisters agree or um, sisters might have other things that they wish they knew before their spiritual journey began and I want y'all to drop them in the comments and share them because it's other sisters that their spiritual journey might might just be beginning they could use these tips um, or it might be other sisters that are well into their journey and you know still need some tips and still need help so don't be afraid to put some things down below but before we get started today i will be making zits so if you see me looking down or anything um i am making a pair of zits for my husband we have an event to go to and let me see so i can show y'all real quick this is the color that we're wearing so this is the color i got for the z's kind of match up perfectly i pressed the most off of that and he requested some extra long z's <laughs> i don't know why he wanted them this long this time but yeah um and i got a dress from tn show y'all real quick this is the color of the dress so it kind of got the same colors that his tie has just so I can match his fly, okay? <laughs> so we can, you know, be represented very well um, when we step out. And Lord willing, maybe I could put like a picture of the dress like right here or something so y'all can see. If not, um, you know, follow me on TikTok um, at a Lily Among Thorns. Or I might post something on Instagram, y'all. I don't know. I might not post but um i have been vlogging a little bit so maybe maybe i will maybe i won't but yeah y'all gonna make some z's for me today and i guess y'all will see like my process of what i do but i've already started um making them earlier so yes i'm just you know in the middle but con this is how I make mine. I just put the top around like the top of the bottle so I have something to hold on to. This is how I was taught. And y'all not really going to see it too much, but y'all will see me working. So, we're going to talk and we're going to work because I got to get this done. Because I still have to do my, um, I still have to do my nails and I got to do my toes. Because I don't want to be walking outside looking crazy, y'all, you know. I, I do want to look presentable even if I do like a little gel manicure or something I, ju I still just don't want to uh, leave out and be looking crazy okay let's get started let's talk let's chat let's have a girl chat y'all I gotta finish curling the ends of my hair and everything so don't mind me I have a lot going on right now but I still wanted to have my little lily pad chat and if y'all hear honking noise in the background listen life is life and they doing their thing and i'm in here doing mine so try to ignore that for the most part and lord willing it's not uh too too loud but con so the first thing i think i wish i would have known before my spiritual journey began was that it's going to be a season for everything like it's just going to be a season for everything you know, sometimes you meet sisters and you feel like, oh, we're going to be sisters forever. And, you know, you might keep in contact with that sister. But, you know, it might be a season where you're not talking to that sister as much as you were before or things like that. Because people change 
things change, circumstances change, life changes. Um, you know, sisters go from being single to married to not having to not having children to having children or having one child to uh having multiple children so it's seasons for everything might be a season where um you reading a whole bunch um and you just learning you're absorbing you're becoming a sponge and you know you just on intake like you're just taking in all the information you're studying 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 um you know and you're able to study more than uh other seasons you know you might have a season where you know you might have slowed down um in studying you know nevertheless you're still studying but you know you're not reading you know as many uh chapters as you have been previously you know or you you super busy you know in a previous season you might have had time to lounge around and chill and just read and become a sponge and absorb it and um i think those are times when it's like all right now since i don't have that much time to read and study and i really gotta have like all right i literally like set like an hour to read and study that's like time for you to show you know what you've learned and actually put your skills to the test to be like all right you gotta put these precepts to work in you know are they coming in handy when you actually need them and are you thinking upon them and you know because you know them now so you know it might be um you might have a season like that um you might have a season where you always you know you just always around your sisters and things like that like i said before um or you're just in a season of gaining new sisters and um getting to know people or you know you might have just found a congregation or you know things like that whereas though you you just be fresh in it like you just be new and you know everything be all lovely and you know it's just so exciting and then you might got a season where listen you're departing from sisters and you're not uh as um close or you know you might move and um might not be a part of that congregation anymore or you know anything things happen life happen things happen so like y'all trying to keep my modesty up <laughs> um let me see oh family family you had a, you listen you might have a season where your family they just don't even want to hear nothing about anything that you learning you know they don't they just see you and they think you acting funny, you acting brand new because you're not doing the things that you used to do anymore. And now, you know, you walking in the light, you keeping these law, statutes and commandments. And, um, you know, you might have a season for that. And then you might have a season where, listen, your family is just questioning you, you know, got a whole bunch of questions or, you know, um, they just all the banging business. Want to know everything. You know, ready to hearken, ready to listen, and things like that. But, you know, with with all of that, it's, it's beautiful um, each season because I feel like you learn something new. Or you should be learning. You know, you should be learning something new in, in each season. Um, just for growth purposes. Um, yeah. I, I think you know if I would have known that I I feel like it would be would have been a little bit more easier for me to navigate through certain situations that I went through but you know because some things you know uh, us as women we're emotional we can we can be emotional <laughs> or you know we can just have just like a wall built up sometimes but you know i i really think 
understanding that it's a season for everything it helps you stay a little bit more steady in your walk and just knowing and remembering like everything is of the lord so you know what no matter what is going on and what's happening the lord intended this uh for for me you know for the people that i'm around or might be needing and things like that um so con it's a it's a season for everything uh just like um ecclesiastes chapter three sisters want to take time to go and read that and um you know get a better understanding and kind of meditate on that you know because it's some very beautiful precepts to help you kind of see what i'm saying um but yeah it might be some periods of time where you stronger through the spirit and sometimes where you just we could do the spirit um and you you know you might have to call on a sister for help or you know anything but nevertheless we got to keep enduring through this thing um yeah i wish i would have known that i wish i would have knew and this is season for everything before my spiritual journey began. I wish uh, I would have been privy to that information. But, hey, guess what? I know now. And now, I'm, you know, I take whatever I go through with cheer. And I just be like, all right, you know, the Lord ordained it this way. You know, let me stop asking questions about uh, how come this or how come that, you know. It's because the Lord said so. So, bam. Um, the second thing that I wish I would have known. Um, and these, I have them written down, but I'm not going to go in any particular order. So, it's not like... I, you know, this is what I said first, or this is what I said second, you know, or, you know, it's just stuff that I just, you know, I just wrote it. Um, hmm. What do I want to choose? Um. I'm kind of, uh. I'm kind of nervous about this one, but I, I'm a, I'm a say it, cause I have to say it. Okay. Stop thinking so highly of of people. People are just people, and I'm, I'm not saying it like think people ain't nothing, but I'm just saying remember that we all are learning so don't put nobody on a pedestal because you think that they doing so well and doing this and doing that or they might be a teacher or they might be um making videos or they might be um you know one of the main faces that you see or you know just we are people, you know, we're, we're prone to um, have, making mistakes and things like that. We're not perfect because, you know, you might see somebody and you might be like, oh, my goodness, they doing X, Y, and Z. And then you hear something because, listen, whether you like it or not, people do talk. So it's like you might hear something about somebody. And, of course, you want to prove to see if those things are true or false. And we understand that, um, you know, you you can tell a person by the fruit that they bear. So, it's just like, people are going to make mistakes. Don't think that everybody is just perfect, 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 you know, or... Um, you know, people can't, don't have room for error. You know what I mean? If that's making any sense. Um, 
some people get kind of wrapped up in thinking that you know somebody can be oh so perfect you know but we don't we don't have the eyes of the lord that see every single thing you know we do look at people for the fruit that they bear but you know give give people grace don't because don't think because it's somebody that you know you thought that they were doing x y and z and then something happens and it's just like oh this person was doing this this and yes they regular they're a regular person it's a vessel that the lord is using you know don't think that you know nobody that you know people aren't um capable of making mistakes give people grace you know don't um don't just be so green you know use discernment um of course you know those those things that are you know righteous and um following i'll say that are following after righteousness of course lean into those things but don't think because just because somebody is in a higher position or you know things like that that people can't make mistakes because we're all people you know we're all people um you know you want to oh let me hold on but calm that's all i wanted to say is don't don't put people on a pedestal and it's not that i put people on a pedestal or anything like that but i have before been like you know kind of let down and been like dang i thought this person was like x y and z and they like it really had confused me but then when i i you know i now understand like you know we all people we all in this flesh and you know people mess up and you know you pray for them you pray that you know the the lord continues to have grace upon them um and mercy you know that even though you know that person may have messed up that they can continue to be a vessel that the lord you know is um is is using or dwelling in so um con don't put nobody on a pedestal don't think overly highly of people and you know just just prove that takes me into my next thing you know just prove things you know study to show yourself approved prove all things i wish i would have known that to prove all things don't just take things for what they come as don't just think oh because this person say they have been walking in this journey for 10 years that everything that they say is correct you know no it's okay to challenge and i don't mean that in a way of being like oh you you so wrong you so wrong no just be like you challenge just ask you know hey well how come it's like this or you know um well i read xyz well how come the understanding is you know whatever you know don't be afraid to you know ask those questions um you know don't be afraid to um to learn you know because the more that you seek the truth the lord you know he's gonna help you find it he's not gonna you know see you salakia he's not gonna see you searching for the truth and not allow you to find it you know um it's different levels of understanding and of course we don't know every little single thing but you know prove prove all those things you know um especially because it's camps and congregations and bodies that you know you find what was suited to your spirit you know what i mean in righteousness um and keep these law statutes and commandments so yeah that was the third thing to prove don't be afraid to ask and things like that because sometimes you know we can be afraid to ask or we you know don't just go along with what's being said you don't have to go along like you don't have to do that my mom always told me listen if you got a question you better ask it okay and if somebody can't show you keep going to somebody till you find somebody that can you know help you you know sisters reach out to other sisters as sisters you know if, if you're not um 
if you're not married, you know, ask, ask a sister to ask her husband, or you know, and they might, you know, she might be able to help you. So, her, um, oh, and I was going to say, also, um, I know th some of the brothers, they always recommend, like, um, books with, like, maps and timelines and things like that. Get your books out. Get your book. Get into your books. Prove. Go read what they reading. You know what I mean. You don't have to like um, try to get like the deepest, deepest breakdown. But you know, if the brothers say you know it's good to get the Bible timeline maps book things like that, you can go get those. You know, prove, prove it. So you know you when you have children, you can show them. Hey, these are the books that I have. I, you know, I was able to go and follow this because, you know, kids, they ask questions. How you know this? And how you know that? And how come? And, you know, you got all the books and they can go in there and read them too. So, you know, prove it. Prove all things. Don't be afraid to ask questions. And, you know, that's how you let your light shine too because, you know, um, people will try to get over on you, you know, but don't don't allow yourself to be in that position um for i would say be you be your authentic self okay number four be yourself okay because it's only one you the lord made you for a reason don't be afraid to be yourself and i say that because i remember when i first started my journey i just was like I thought I had to be like, ch, 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 ch. I don't know why, but I don't know. It was just real strict, really, really, really strict. Now, you do want to have discipline and discernment, diligence, things like that. But still be yourself. We have personalities. We lively women. It's not like, you know, we did. Okay? Yeah, I know I'm an Israelite. Yes, I'm in my spiritual journey. Okay, I'm still me. I'm still Lily. You know, I still got personality. I still like to laugh and joke. I like to have a good time. And all my sisters that know me know that I'm I'm so goofy. I'm so goofy. You know what I mean? But I I don't play about keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. I don't play about you know having fear of the Lord. I don't play. It's certain things I just don't play about. And so it's like you know um, you don't have to be what people say you should be as long as you're not going against the most high as long as you're not embarrassing um you know making a bad name for the most high be you be yourself um and that will help you attract like sisters that are just like you you know what i mean like you don't have to try to be something in order to get where you want to be because the Lord is going to help align you. He's going to align your friendship, you know, and where it should go as long as you know what you're supposed to do. Be yourself. Be you, okay? Be you. It's only one you, okay? Be you. And I know I keep saying it, but no, I'm, I'm so serious because I think a lot of sisters just be like so stiff, like so stiff. We have personalities like read up on your foremothers. Rebecca was out there sporting with her husband, okay? What does sporting mean? Listen, go read it. I'm not going to tell you. I want you to go read it so that you know. When it says we're lively women, what do you think that means? You think, no, no, we like to have a good time. We like to dress up, get cute. You know what I mean? We got sisters that know how to model. We got sisters that know how to dress. We got sisters that know how to sing. We got sisters that know how to dance and praise the Lord. We got, listen, we too fly for this. We the salt, okay? Be you. It's only one you. Period, okay? <laughs> and um, I think... It's just real beautiful to develop into who you truly are and just see seeing me blossom through my journey from where I once was before y'all 
it's so much better when you just can relax and be yourself. And I thank my husband for helping me because my husband helped me like really break my show and really, you know, open up and be authentically, truly me. And I'm now able to tap into, you know, my different gifts and things like that in a different way. Um, it, it's real beautiful. It's real beautiful. And I don't know else how to describe it. But um, the last thing I say I wish I would have knew before my spiritual journey began is that you have to heal. You really have to heal. You really have to um, get past a lot of things that was holding you back before. Because if you don't, it's really going to hinder you in your walk. It's really going to hinder you in your walk. And you might not understand why you keep going through some of the same things you're going through. Because you dragged that same baggage into your journey now which you know it's okay because now you might have different ways to learn how to heal and develop um you know and deal with those certain circumstances certain circumstances <laughs> i couldn't get it out but yeah healing is very important for any like developing sisterships if you're single and you want to court like, you just really, you know, need to heal. And for sisters that were already, you know, married before starting their spiritual journey, I would say healing in a sense of sisterhood would be a good way because a lot of us didn't deal with sisters in the world. Or, you know, for me, I just was like, I don't even like dealing with my sisters, which was sad. But now I'm in the, uh, on my spiritual journey. I'm like, I love my sisters. You know, I just want to see everybody win. And I love it here. But I did. Y'all, how about my iPad died? But we were on the last one about healing in the spiritual journey. Uh, before my spiritual journey began. But, um... Yeah, I was just saying, I had to do a lot of healing before my spiritual journey began because, uh, like, my relationship with sisters, I just, I just didn't even deal with my sisters in the world. I was really to myself. I had my select few of, like, friends that, um, you know, that I would be cool with or hang out with and things like that, and I just was like... I, I really think it's crazy how uh, the, the Lord really allowed me to do like a whole turnabout when it comes to my sisterhood because I love my sisters, y'all. I want to see all my sisters win. And, you know, I, I root for everybody. But I had to do some healing, you know. And like I said, um, for single sisters... If, you know, you looking to be courting with a brother and things like that, you need to do some healing. You need to make sure that you are, you know, sound in your mind. You know, uh, worry about keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. And, you know, not even focusing on a brother, you know, because he's supposed to find you. So... You shouldn't really be looking. You really should be worrying about the cares of the Lord. And, you know, those things will be added unto you. And really prepare yourself because it's not, it ain't easy, you know. I know it's what we want to do, but you, know, you better be ready. <laughs> I was like, dang, I could have had a little bit, time, a little bit more time to prepare, but... You know, the Lord's coming is perfect, but, um, yeah, make sure that you heal. Heal those past traumas, you know, heal your mind, body, your spirit, and things like that before you're venturing out, um, trying to create new sisterhood, sisterships, and, um, you know, 
because it's cool to be cordial and it's cool to be nice and things like that but you know you might have a sister that you real close to and you don't want nothing to you know jeopardize uh your sistership with that sister just because you got some issues going on that you need to resolve, you know, because don't nobody really want to take on too many issues that don't have nothing to do with them, you know, because it can be a burden, you know, you might have a jealousy spirit or just anything, and it's, it shouldn't have to affect you being uh, sisters or, you know, affect your friendship with sisters that you just meet and things like that you have to get those things in check and get those things in line so that you can you know flourish and be a beautiful light be a beautiful sister be a beautiful pillar um amongst your community and things like that and you know prepare yourself to be a help me so uh lord willing these help sisters and maybe sisters even have um, what they feel as though they could have learned or known or should have learned or known before their spiritual journey began. Um, let me know some other stuff y'all think I should talk about. But yeah, I think this was real interesting. I think it was real interesting and i like this chat this chat was like real good um hopefully i can finish making these zeeks and make mine do my nails and my toes and i will check back in with y'all at a later date i love y'all keep enduring shalom